and welcome back to my channel let me go ahead and reintroduce myself my name is allison and i am officially a howard university alumna and so yes here we are and i'm so excited to really talk about my howard university experience and what it feels like having graduated while quarantined pretty weird time that we're all going through um, but first and foremost, I want to note that postponing graduation is for the absolute best. And I really hope that anybody watching this is safe and is quarantined and is practicing social distancing as much as they possibly can. I know it's getting a little boring. I know it's getting a little old and a little bit repetitive. But I hope that you all are finding new ways to stay entertained, stay busy, stay um, proactive and keep progressing because you know the days are just going on and so if you're not making good use of it i hope that you make a change soon <laughs> so yes as i just mentioned i am a alumna of howard university and i just earned my bachelor's of science in nutritional science so let me kind of take you all down memory lane and talk about my entire howard university experience and how that pretty much made me into the person I am today and got me to this point. So originally I'm from San Diego, California, and I originally applied to Howard with the intention of pursuing journalism with the objective of possibly becoming a news anchor or a meteorologist, but overall just being a, a TV personality. And you know, during that first semester of undergrad, something didn't sit right with me about that um, educational route and is no shade to anybody who loves journalism and loves uh, communications but for me it just was not it and even before that I've always had an interest in the health professions I've always had an interest in serving the community and helping people and I just was not sure to which magnitude I wanted to do it but one thing that I did know is that I did not want to become a doctor because you know it's just too much school and I don't know it just would be too much for me and it just would not be realistic it wouldn't be possible so it actually was my freshman year when I went to our dental school at Howard because we have a dental school medical school pharmacy school and law school so if you are looking to attend an HBCU with one of those programs Howard University is an amazing, amazing school, and we have amazing programs. But anyway, so I went to our dental school, and I was talking with dentists, and I kind of remembered that once upon a time, I had an interest in being a dentist, but again, it just was almost unrealistic and unfathomable to even consider going to school and being in school for... A minimum of eight years but there was an excitement there was like a yearning a little burning desire inside of me that I didn't feel with journalism so after visiting the dental school and talking with some of their students about their journey and why they chose dentistry and what the journey meant to them and what being a dentist meant to them I kind of decided to sit on it for a little bit and I finished out my first year of Howard in the School of Communications and decided okay I'm going to change my major but in order to make it possible for me and realistic for me to get my way through I'm going to pursue nutrition now nutrition and oral hygiene just goes hand in hand so nutrition was my way of acquiring all of my prerequisites for dental school and eventually getting me through and it was pretty rough at first because I hadn't taken any of these science classes since high school and especially back then I didn't take it serious because who would have thunk <laughs> who would have thought that I wanted to be a dentist and so I just kept progressing and I kept telling myself this is what I want to do this is what I want to do and I actually had attended a couple of different dental dental geared events um, and I also joined our pre-dental society at Howard and that's where I was like okay this is what I want to do this is what I want to pursue this is the way I'm going to make a living and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And so now here we are in May 2020 and I have officially fulfilled all of my course requirements and have officially checked off 
receiving my undergraduate degree off of my bucket list and so it's it's pretty amazing to just watch the change that you go through while you're in high school to undergrad and then just even within those first few years of undergrad getting to your senior year and finally being done and so yeah I'm just so excited to announce myself as a Howard University grad and to be able to join the alumni family and be able to come back and celebrate Howard University for all of its greatness. So let's talk a little bit about the HBCU experience. So that was something completely different. So if you are from California, if you have an interest in California, Southern California specifically, it is a very, very diverse place. A lot of people are mixed, a lot of people look like me. You don't really experience a lot of racism. There are places that have, you know, more activity um, than others, but I personally never grew up experiencing racism, discrimination, prejudice, any of that stuff. And so when I decided to apply to Howard University, that is when the Black Lives Matter movement was going on and there was just a lot of like uprising within the black community. And so I really was just like, I gotta take part of this. I need to see this firsthand. I need to experience this. I feel like it's doing me a disservice if I claim to be black, even if it's only, you know, half of my heritage. I. I think it is my responsibility to go and learn this aspect of myself and go meet people who have experienced things that I haven't experienced because that just is going to build me up into the woman I am now. And so, of course, I'm looking at all the HBCUs and of course, Howard University is acclaimed the Mecca, which it is, the real HU, all that. If you went to Hampton, I don't want to talk about it. Um, but... Yeah, so I was looking at Howard University as my number one option. I also applied to a couple of other HBCUs for undergrad. And once I was accepted into Howard University, it was a no-brainer. So overall, going to Howard University was such a game changer. I never really understood how complex blackness is and how beautiful blackness is. And the fact that there's people of every single color, every single background. We have people from different nations in Africa and the Caribbean islands, and we have so many international students, and it's just so crazy to wrap my head around the fact that, you know, this one school has been able to unite us and really bring the best out of so, so many people. My favorite thing about Howard University is, of course, how acclaimed it is, but also how much recognition we get for the work that we put in. Howard University is definitely a party school, but I think it is like so amazing to watch how hard we party, but also how hard our students study and how much grind we put in to get to these prestigious, you know, uh, positions in life. Like I know people who are working jobs with six figures right out of college and a lot of people couldn't even imagine doing that. I know a lot of people who are going on to further their education, going to grad school, med school, law school, pharmacy school, like I've seen it all and so I think that's the most beautiful thing about Howard, to see people who look like me really succeeding in a world and in a nation that was built up against us, to be quite honest. And so even just hearing the history of the things that they don't teach us in school, Howard has instilled in me. Uh, I learned how to swim at Howard. Like, you know, there's just so many things that I don't think I would have gotten from any other school other than Howard. I rest my case. <laughs> so, yes, I am graduated. And where do I go from here? So, I just mentioned how so many students are going on you know, upwards and onwards. And I am so excited to announce that I'm doing the exact same thing. I want to become a dentist. However, those first, that first like semester within uh, my nutritional science program, I did struggle a little bit just finding my footing. I had recently gotten a boyfriend and a puppy. And so I had a lot of distractions stacked up against me. So I did not do that well however i was able to rebound and regain my footing learn how to study learn what professors to take 
um it also took a little bit for me to learn my schedule like it wasn't just okay let's have a morning class and then you know some classes are in the evening so it took a lot for me to kind of strategize and figure out how i was going to make it work and how it was going to get through and eventually i did so yeah i with all of that being said i am excited to announce that i am going to be pursuing my master's of science in biomedical science which is very similar to the first two years of dental school and so by taking that up as my major i'm making myself a more competitive applicant when i do apply to dental school and i also will give myself that leverage to find my footing in the middle grounds of undergrad and dental school because there's vast differences especially just with the pace of which instruction is taught and so i think by allowing myself that opportunity to kind of learn how to better study, how to better time management, and how to better focus, I'm going to really, really excel. I think there's going to be a lot of great things that come from this, and I'm so, so excited. And once I receive all of my final paperwork, I'll do a little announcement video about where I'm going. But yes, so I will be doing a Master's of Science, which I'm so, so excited for. And that should also be starting very, very soon. So you're going to get to watch me transition from this undergrad girl to a graduate student and then a professional student. So those are all pretty, pretty exciting things. Um, and aside from that, I am starting a podcast with my best friend. So we are dropping that this month and it's called The Graduate Podcast. And I'll drop the link right here for our Instagram and we are going to be available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts so you can hear us on different platforms if you are interested. So basically what that podcast is going to be about is just the conversations between me and my best friend talking about all the different things that we experienced in our 20s that have really shaped us and lessons that we've learned, story times notes on professionalism, notes on relationships. So it's gonna be a lot about what I talk about here on this channel, but we're gonna dive a little bit deeper, get a little bit more personal. So if you're a podcast listener, 10 out of 10 recommend. And aside from that, hopefully, hopefully I'll become a fiance soon. So Alize, if you're listening, uh, size 6.25, I believe is my ring size. 6.25 so get your girl <laughs> so aside from that i just wanted to share some of my favorite memories to kind of close out this video here i am graduated so i'm pretty excited it really sucks that we couldn't graduate the way that things should have been walking across the stage and celebrating in person and you know getting on all of my goodbyes but it's okay because I've turned a new page and I'm so, so excited to watch everybody succeed. But let's take a little trip down memory lane. So, oh my goodness. So this picture is when I first was getting ready to go to Howard. I actually had ended up traveling all by myself because my dad had work. And so I was so, so nervous. But it just was so, so worth it. And this is me when I first saw snow. So... Again, I'm from San Diego. I had never, ever, ever seen the snow before, and so this is my first time ever seeing the snow. <laughs> you didn't know it was that deep? <laughs> You're a clown. Hey, watch out. Chill out, man. Yo, come and get out. <laughs> Another cool thing about Howard University is the fact that every first Friday of the month, we have like a big party in one of the cafeterias in it's called punch out and so first fridays has always been an amazing time to like get dressed up and get cute dance hang out with friends all the different organizations come out show out show love and really represent and i think that really helps ingrain what howard university culture is then this is the first picture that my boyfriend and i ever took so we actually kind of had a, a really funny start to our relationship. It was so unplanned and, well, at least on my end. I actually didn't think he was serious about me. And so when he even asked me to be his girlfriend, I was just like, if you're serious, then sure. Um, and 
it was right around Christmas, December 18, 2015. And what was it? Like four or five days later, our parents had already met. And I went on a trip with them for their little holiday trip. And so that was so, so much fun. And, you know, here we are now. So it worked out. <laughs> So Howard University, there's always some amazing concerts going on, especially during homecoming and during Spring Fest. So those are two opportunities to really get to see some of your favorite artists performing up close and personal. Like I think what had really made that an even more enjoyable experience for me was joining an organization called the 1867 Undergraduate Assistantship Program. So this is my cohort here. So what the 1867 Undergraduate Assistantship Program does is we hold all of the major university events, commencement, convocation, charter day, charter day dinner, we do all of the major events. And so that was where I really got to get an up close and behind the scenes look at my university. So here are some of my favorite clips from homecomings, um, dinners, and you know, I've, I've, I've done so much and it's been so, so fun. <laughs> has really helped me just like you know learn how to find my voice learn how to be a leader learn how to handle myself in high profile situations because as you've seen I've worked with a lot of major artists and major celebrities I think my favorite all-time memory of Howard University well it's always gonna be homecoming homecoming just like in general as a whole but I think my very 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 favorite thing of all time which was in my homecoming video, working with Kim Kardashian West and her children and some of her security guards. So that was a really cool experience. Uh, the Sunday service that Kanye West did was a complete surprise to our student body. Working within this program, we practice discretion. Discretion, discretion, discretion. We have to keep hush-hush on all of the major stuff because that's that's what builds the anticipation. You know, of course we're gonna know some of the details, but we try to keep it quiet, we try to keep it low profile until the university is ready to announce it. So again, I really wish I could have had the opportunity to walk across the stage with my family and celebrate with all of my friends, but it is all right. Again, congratulations to any of the class of 2020. We officially made it. And I wish you all much more success. And if you are considering Howard University as your institution of choice, definitely feel free to reach out to me via my Twitter or my Instagram. I respond to DMs. <laughs> and yeah, I wish everybody the best of luck. And if you are a fellow scholar, let's get it done. Let's, get, let's you know, let's do what it do. <laughs> but all right, y'all. Until next time. Stay safe, stay warm if you're on the East Coast because it's pretty cold right now and all that good stuff. But yes, lots of love. Bye-bye.